The Skyline Fleet is a collection of vehicles we use at Renesas to aid the design and test of our ADAS processor solutions. The Skyline Lincoln is an autonomous vehicle that we have developed to help us learn more about how we can provide our customers autonomous driving solutions that address production challenges such as functional safety, low power consumption and cyber security. The Skyline Lincoln has been equipped with a forward camera, LiDAR, three radars and a V2X radio to enable the perception of vehicles, traffic signs, traffic lights and lane markings. Along with these sensors, a GPS INSS system is used to calculate the vehicle's position. In the trunk of the Lincoln, we have two R drives used to control the autonomous driving system. Each R drive contains two RCAR H3s targeted at ASIL B and one RH850 P1HC targeted at ASIL D, with all three processors designed within an ASIL D process. With two R drives, our system has a total of four RCAR H3s and two RH850 P1HCs. One of the four RCAR H3s is used for camera processing. The other three RCAR H3s are used redundantly. Now let's take a look at the system working in the car itself. So to engage the system, I'm going to use the HMI here and the car starts driving. And we have a map of this track and we can use GPS as well as camera-based lane detection in order to keep the vehicle right in the middle of these lanes. So we have a vehicle in our path that's not moving, so we slow down almost to a stop. The vehicle in front of us decides to start moving, so now we have some space for some acceleration. We're showing data from all the different types of sensors that we use to detect objects in the driving environment. So to tell the vehicle that we want to go off of the outer loop and through the inner loop, we use the turn signal. And so now the car has been told by our driver that we need to take a different path. In the intersection, we have a traffic light and also a stop sign that we're detecting. So right now, as we turn to the intersection, we happen to have a red light. So we'll detect that and stop. So when we have a green light, we'll proceed to the stop sign, where we'll go ahead and stop and wait to turn until we have the right of way. Now you notice that we're detecting some oncoming traffic with our autonomous driving system. So not only do we have to wait at the stop sign, we also have to make sure that the uh, oncoming traffic is, has passed so we have a clear path. I'm actually going to showcase our fail operational concept by using the HMI to simulate a failure of one of the very important processors in our architecture. And so right now, one of our processors is gone, yet we still have full functionality, a smooth transition. You can't even notice that we've had a very significant failure. We still detect a vehicle. We still are able to slow down in the presence of a vehicle. And now that we have a clear path, we can find a safe pullover location to the right side of our driving lane. So once the system has finished its, its emergency pullover park, the system will shut off. To re-engage the system, we just use our HMI. Okay, and now the autonomous driving system will take us back into the driving lane. Next, I'll showcase our security features. We actually have an HMI button here that we can use to turn on um, secure communication between all the six Renesas processors. Here we're using um, hardware accelerators in all of our devices um, to provide secure communication with mechanisms such as encryption and also um, message authentication codes. It's also important to note that as we pass this tent here, we're still detecting a vehicle even though we do not have direct line of sight with any sensor. And we're able to do that with our DSRC radio. So as we continue driving with our security enabled, we are now able to withstand any type of uh, cybersecurity intrusion. We're actually simulating um, a hack right now in this vehicle, and we can turn on that simulation by pressing this button. And you'll notice that, notice that with the hack turned on, we still have full functionality, no issues. However, if we turn the security off, you'll see we have an issue. So without security, the hacking simulation has caused this vehicle to think there's actually a failure, and that means that without security enabled, a hacker could make the car pull over. Today's vehicle shows an ACIL D with fail operation processing architecture concept with secure communications at a very small total of 30 watts of total Renesas processing power consumption. Through Skyline Fleet research and development and close collaboration with our many Tier 1 and OEM customers, 
Renesas is continuing its long history of building state-of-the-art processing solutions that meet the challenges of production automotive systems. And we look forward to moving the future of autonomous driving together. <laughs>